Hi, my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the solar system collisions. So there's a lot of collisions in the solar system. There is a lot of debris and comets and asteroids and meteors traveling to space that are hitting everything that comes close to their path. So 4.6 billion years ago, we had our solar system, which was a spinning cloud of gas and dust, which sent out a bunch of rock and debris and gases and planetesimals just flying through the solar system. Now, what are some famous collisions that have happened in the solar system? So the first one that we have to talk about is the giant impact theory. And this has to do with the formation of the moon. So how did we get the moon? Uh, the theory is that a very large object hit the Earth and caused the outer layers of the Earth to be launched out into space, and that's what we call the moon. So the moon was formed after a collision. The second thing that we can tell, which is a big collision, um, is Uranus. Uranus is actually rolling on its side. So most planets are somewhat, their equator is lined up with the orbital plane, and uh, Uranus isn't. Uranus is actually 98 degrees away from the orbital plane. So Uranus looks something like this, with the equator nearly vertical. And that had to do with several collisions that caused not just Uranus, but all of its moons to actually tilt as well. Another big uh, collision that we've had is the one that caused Venus to go in retrograde. So Venus uh, rotates around the sun the wrong way. So as most planets follow the rotation of the sun, uh, Venus actually goes the other way. So let's say we have the sun over here. And let's say we have Mercury, and Mercury is heading this way. In the orbit of Venus, you will have Venus going this way. And that was caused by a collision that changed its orbital um, direction. So there's a lot of things that we've seen in the solar system that are, have been caused by collisions. But there's also a lot of good things that can come from collisions. Comet collisions are especially important. They increase the chance of life. So what happens when you have a comet uh, impact is that they create these immense shock waves during the impact and cause the organic compounds on the planet to potentially become amino acids and protein cells, which can lead to living organisms. So this is one of the things that um, most people don't think about collisions. Collisions can actually create life. And these are some of the famous collisions in the solar system. My name is Eileen Pires, and I'm an astrophysicist.